Brian back here. I was covering GOAT for a couple people in Discord yesterday. I thought I might as well take a quick look at it here and get a video out. Uh, forming this wedge up, you got a break of this wedge. This thing looks like it's heading, you know, even if you take the width of this wedge, which usually gives you your target for your breakout. Please hit the like and subscribe if you appreciate this this stuff here, guys, and I'll cover it more. But it would you be right up around this one six one eight would be a target range for it. Alright, we're gonna put a box up here. You know, could come in anywhere up through here. I would imagine that's over uh that's what any, anywhere from a dollar seventeen to a dollar twenty. Um right up in this range. Now let's take a look at some RSIs here. Let's see where uh, this thing could possibly be heading in the short term. All right, you got your four hour right at the very top here. All right, more than likely this thing, you're probably going to get a pullback. Might retest this wedge as support now, and then a fifth wave up. This thing's probably, it's probably more than likely what it's going to do. Got your one hour. Sorry about that. In a Doge trade. If you're interested, guys, we are killing it in Discord. Come sign up to level three membership. It's only fifteen dollars. You get over ten hours of videos to teach you how to start charting like this. Plus, you get a link to the Discord to come trade with us. All right, that's uh, that's how I came up with this. Here, a couple people brought it up in Discord. We have over two hundred people in there. We're coming into an alt season. Don't miss out on all this money. It's easier to do it with a group of people. So. Uh, we're going to crush it over there, all right? The four-hour goat is right near the top here. Your one hour uh, is pulling down. Yeah, I would expect some kind of retracement here out of this thing. All right, on a four-hour, it looks like you have a wave one, two, three. Probably a fourth wave pullback here. Let's take a look. Ben and Tal and Casper Short both have bearish divergence. Nice. Good job, Kevin. That's over from Discord there. Normally these wave fours pull back uh, usually to right around a 382 retracement. It can pull deeper than that though. It could pull back and, and retest the top of this. But me personally, I would probably expect something along the lines of this. Maybe a A, B, C down and then shoot back up here. Uh, especially with this four hour and the higher time frames getting up there. But overall, uh, then you would be looking at a five wave up here, okay, which would be inside here. You know, one, two, three, four, and five, all right? Overall, I bet you this thing probably, more than likely, is going to make a lot bigger move. You know, this could all be a wave three right here. Uh, four or five up up higher you know this goat it could end up making a lot higher move but in the short term I'd expect to pull back and then a push up towards about a dollar twenty all right thank you so much guys I'll talk to you soon